here with a new episode of The Holidays Are Coming. Tonight I had purchased ingredients to make some uh, blondies because Micah's school has having a fundraiser, was having a fundraiser tomorrow night, but they canceled it. But my family loves blondies, so I decided to go ahead and make a pan anyway, and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So let's see what goes in these. We're going to start off with a cup of butter, which is two sticks. This has been softened and is perfect for putting in the mixer. We're going to add a cup of granulated sugar, a cup of brown sugar, that has a packed brown sugar, two eggs, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and a cup of uh, white chocolate chips, and these are a cup, they look like, they look like, uh, the, Rick says they look like peas, I think they look like uh, garbanzo beans, but they're not. They are caramel bits, and um, these are called premium caramel bits, and um, I don't like to buy the Kraft caramels because they're made with high fructose corn syrup, but I turned the bag over, and it's probably, you probably can't see it, it says sugar and corn syrup. I don't know how. And it doesn't say high fructose corn syrup, so we're going to go with it. I mean, sometimes you can't get away from it. I really try not to have it in things, but it is what it is, and today we're going to use the caramel bits. And also, I'm going to use two teaspoons of this, and yes, I have my homemade vanilla that we made together, but this is called Vanilla Bean Crush. And this actually is is the... Um, is a, a, a thin syrup that has crushed vanilla beans in it, so it's got the the vanilla bean seeds in it, like you would scrape. And this I get from King Arthur Flower Company website. And this bottle, I think, I think this bottle was eight dollars. I'm not sure, but it's going to last you a long time. It's eight fluid ounces, so I'm excited to try it. I haven't used it yet before, so we're going to give it a try. So let's get started. I'm going to get started by putting my butter in my mixer bowl. Oh, and the other thing I have done, I've taken a 9 by 13 baking pan, lined it with one sheet of parchment sideways, and then I have um, sprayed it with nonstick cooking spray. Then that's just as like a little bit of insurance, so you know. You can line that with aluminum foil. It's just easier to get the uh, the bars out of the pan when you do that. And I'm putting my beater blade in here. And I'm gonna give it a start. Just soften up that butter to get it a little creamy. toast because toasted nuts always taste better and I have just taken these out of the freezer and they may be a little older than you know they're always better when you toast them they smell amazing though okay so this is good I'm gonna add my sugar Actually, that was a little too high I'm gonna add my sugar both the brown and the granulated and get that creaming really well. And you want this to become nice and incorporated and smooth. Looking good. Now I'm gonna break an egg at a time in here. Mix that really well until it's fully incorporated. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my salt in there. I'm 
also going to throw in my vanilla so I can get it open. This is my vanilla bean crush. Oh wow. Smell wonderful. That looks like it's ready to take the uh, let me uh I'm just gonna lower it so I can put the flour in and the baking powder baking soda. I keep wanting to say baking powder. It's baking soda. Start this on low and let it mix well. And it's a nice soft dough. It's almost the same consistency as a chocolate chip cookie dough. And it is very similar to the chocolate chip cookie dough, except we're not going to add semi-sweet chips. We're going to add lighter things. Like, you can add toffee bits to this. You can add chocolate-covered toffee bits. You can add crushed-up peas bars to it. It's fantastic. And that is just where we want it. We're going to go ahead and add in our mix-ins, our caramel bits and our white chocolate chips. And give this a, don't mix it, don't over mix it, you're going to break those chips up. But, um, there we go. I'm going to lower this again. I'm going to grab a spatula. Excuse me. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to grab some of my walnuts. Only about a cup. I'm not going to use all these walnuts. They've cooled off enough that we can put them in there. Probably about that's about a cup. Goes in. And I would not recommend doing this like I am unless you have a KitchenAid mixer. These KitchenAids are built to do this. If you have a different brand of mixer, I would stop it and I would actually mix these by hand because I wouldn't want you to ruin your mixer by overheating the motor. And some of those mixer brands tend to be a little persnickety. So. Let me just scrape off my beater here. Make sure everything is incorporated. Everything looks really nice. Okay, now we're going to take our pan. Move all this stuff out of the way. My hands are clean. And I say that because what you are going to see me do next is get my hands in here. Oops, sorry. Because sometimes you cannot avoid using your hands, like I have said before. Some of the best tools you have in the kitchen are at the ends of your arms. Now, kind of. Press it on in there. Make sure you get all the corners. It's a nice, soft dough, but it's not too squishy. It's just right. Now, you can bake these um, like a chocolate chip cookie if you like. Um, I like them much better in a blondie form. And for those of you who've never had a blondie, I thought I think most people know what a blondie is. It's a non-brown brownie. It's a brownie that's not chocolate. It's really a brown sugar and butter dough with any number of mix-ins, such as chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, toffee, caramel. You could do anything with these. Anything that suits your fancy. You could make them plain and they're absolutely delicious. So, 
I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. And I'm going to put these in the middle rack. And I'm going to bake those for 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, I'll be back. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, these are ready to come out. And they just deflated. This is just how you want them to look. Now they're going to deflate a bit. You're going to want them to cool in the pan for about 15 minutes. Then you can come in, lift them out, and slice them into squares. And um, I, I slightly like to undercook them. This was 30 minutes in the oven because then they still stay a little chewy and the edges do not get crispy. I do not like that on a blondie. I don't like it on a brownie either. So there you have it. I will come back as soon as these are ready to be cut and I'll serve you a plate. I'll fix you a plate. I'm sorry. I'll fix you a plate of blondies. Okay, we've let this cool for a sufficient amount of time. And now I'm just going to lift it out of the pan. See how nice that comes out. And now we can cut it up. And this is just, um, this is a pizza cutter, and I love it for um, cutting things like this because it's perfect. You don't have to worry about getting your knife crooked and making unstraight lines because this cuts through the entire length at one time. Okay, so let's fix you a plate. Let me get a dish. smell fantastic. Rick said it smells awful. I'll just show you that. You can see how dense it is in the center and it, it looks amazing. I'll give you one of those and I'm going to give you a centerpiece too and I'm going to show you what it looks like when we break it open. Look at that. All moist and chewy and caramely and white chocolatey. Delicious. There you have it. Caramel and white chocolate brownies. So what's for dessert? Blondies. I hope you, what? Blondies. Blondies, did I say brownies? Yes. Duh. It's late, it's 10 o'clock, Thursday night. I am ready to go to sleep. Christmas is in a week, folks. This is a great last minute idea for a gift for your neighbors, for your coworkers, for your boss. Who wouldn't love a pan of these? Not expensive, really easy, and can be made in less than an hour. So, I hope you try these, and I hope you've enjoyed them. Until next time, happy gifting, and Merry Christmas!